Tomorrow night, overnight, it's going to get to minus 34. <laughs> yeah. Burr. <laughs> Oh, 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 sorry. Um, Vicki Lemire, I see it says, is it minus 10 or 10? You said last for last night and you said burr. Right now it's minus 22 with the wind chill and tomorrow night, uh, overnight is going to get to minus 34 with the wind chill. So Monday morning crossing guard, it's going to be real chilly. <laughs> yeah, minus 34. That's not too bad, Vicky. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> hello, Helly. Hello, everybody. Hello, Kaylin. Hello, Claudette. Hello, Robin. Hello, Donna. Jerry Lynn. Kelly. Becky. Deborah. <laughs> I did. Well, not finished completely. Not. Oh, you get minus 13, Nadine. Brrr. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> that would be lovely, Lois. I'd love to come to Florida. <laughs> oh, okay. My, oh, okay, sorry. Oh, yeah, so you got the oh, same temperature. It is burr. It is very burr burr. You know that. It turned out nice. I really like it. It, uh, uh, it. I'm pleased with the way it turned out, for sure. Uh, simple walking foot quilting on hers. Oh, I, I haven't quite decided what was going to happen to it. Um, probably, I don't know. I think I've got a little, like, wavy sort of pattern. I think that would look kind of cool on it. Hello, Emily from Mississippi. Bad rainstorm, tornado. Lucky went through... Uh, but not much stuff in the, th damn, oh, wow, 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 yikes. Mm-hmm, hello, Anna. You're quilting the Dresden quilt, hopefully done tomorrow. Serpentine lines, feathers, and pebbles. Really good practice. Now, coffee, toast, and live stream. <laughs> well, I got tea. I'll cheers to you there. <laughs> Get a cup of tea. No, not, not done already, but I, I put all the blocks together. <laughs> I still have the borders to put out and I there's lots of these little bits left over. So I'm gonna make an extra added border on the outside of the black border. So. Hello Pam, hello Steph. Do, do, hello Diane57. Yeah, so I'm gonna add that outside. Mm -hmm. I'm working on a quilt that Bonnie Hunter did. Uh, you're putting it together? Which one was that one? Hello, Bella. <laughs> I get to see you in a couple weekends. I'm very excited. Mm -hmm. Yes, he's feeling a bit better. He still was taking some medicine, though. I saw him take some stuff for you yesterday and this morning. So, got to do what you got to do. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you, Lois. I'm glad your door is always open. So is mine. Except at minus 22. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> da, 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 da. All right, well, so, uh, oh, you just finished Munchkins? Awesome, Lois. You're, I think you're the first one. That's, that's fantastic. Well, it's posted anyways. I'm very excited to see your variation of it. Um, he, was, he, was, he was asking the other day, has anybody posted anything yet? And I go, dude, it just went out. <laughs> Patience. <laughs> Uh, just finished the Good Fortune quilt by Bonnie Hunter 2. All 3,000 pieces of it. Really? <laughs> That's a lot. <laughs> Jelly Roll Race. I did a couple of two, actually. Well, one. It was so big, it actually ended up being two quilts. <laughs> a lot of cutting, I bet. I bet. Figure out how to get, ha, have to figure out how to get pattern. For what, Deborah? Pattern for, oh, for the block of the month or for the Bonnie Hunter? Because I think Bonnie Hunter's is just free on her website, isn't it? So, all right. Yeah, no, we got the, that's done so far. Yeah, very pleased with that. Now you can see it in the background. You can take it down so I can put the black borders on. Boop, boo. Here. And here. Da -da. Da -da. 
There's threads everywhere. My goodness. I can see what, when I go to do the white one with the solids when we in, in Patreon, because one of those lucky ones are going to win it. Um, I have to really be sure to trim up those the dark colored um, squares for sure. All right, so that's 60 by, should be 60 by 60 if I you know did my stuff right, but you never know. Accidents do happen. 60 by 60. All right, nice. Okay, so I have uh, told me to cut seven strips at four and a half of the width of fabric to for my border. So that's what I've already cut. And then I had this mass amount of black left over. So I thought it's not enough for the backing. I could use it for the binding, easy peasy, no problem. So why not use all the all these strips that were left over from the sectioning out of the 30, 36 or whatever, 38, whatever we were doing, 38, 36. And then I could get two three inch cuts out of that. So that's what I've done and I've added it to a pile and I've started a little bit here. I tried to go a little, do a little something a little weird and modern, I guess, uh, and do like a little bit of dark strip and then colored and these, these are the three and a half by two and a half and these are three and a half by two and a half as well. And I thought it'd be a nice little effect on the outside of the black border. So we'll see. Mm -hmm. That one over there, that is actually, uh, I believe it was Lynette Craig who won that in our Patreon. Is that right, honey? Yes, it is. Congratulations, Lynette. She just told us actually what she, how she wanted it to me to finish it up because she's got many options. I could have added the extra fabric from the kit as an extra border. She said yes, and I'm all over that like white on rice. And then it was use the rest of the reds in the quilt, the leftover bits, to do a scrappy binding. And I love that too. So I can't wait to finish that up. I'm very excited. <laughs> Uh-oh. Hey, there she goes. <laughs> da, 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 da. Oh, oh, oh. Hello, Libby, and Marcy, and Vanessa, and Rowena. Happy you're here. Yes, join us on Patreon. Yeah, she won it. She's won. And then she had to asked, she, uh, asked for the uh, red flannel backing and to be quilted up in a maple leaf sort of fashion. And I am totally stoked to be finishing it. So you'll see it as a long arm Wednesday for sure. Oh, thank you, Deborah. Thank you very much. That's right there, actually. And I've done lots of lines. The the matchstick sort of line quilting, I guess, to go, you know, around all the applique. And it looks really neat. I was showing it to Pop and he's like, that's cool. So I hope she's gonna love it. All right, oh, okay, all right, have done. Let me move this first though. Okay, hold on, I will, I will, I will. All right, do, do. Mm-hmm. Well, here's, here's, it is fully. I'll have to show it this way so you can see it. And then I'll put it in front of the, what I've done so far, I'll put it in front of the camera. So that's my, my four flowers in their lovely little pots. Okay, isn't it cute? And then for the really textured quilting, I just did with the walking foot. Okay, hold on. I don't want to get the uh, batting anywhere close to that iron, so. Hold on, just give me a little moment to get it in the picture so you can see that, hopefully. Is that good? Is that okay? There we go, yeah, because I did all, from here down to here, you can really see, and it feels really neat. <laughs> beautiful, absolutely beautiful. All right, so that's what we're gonna do. And like I said, I got enough for binding and then I got enough for leftover project. This can go in the black stash. I mean, by the time I get the binding out of it, I'm gonna have at least a half a meter left or half a yard. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, thanks everybody who's coming in. Hello, hello, hello. Actually, I'm glad Claudette is here because she, uh, we're doing her net project next that she mailed in. Oh, last year with a bunch of other goodies that I did for the world quilt, the fabric for that, and this, and, and I've done a bag and all sorts of goodies. So this will be, I'll put it to the small camera, honey, so you can, the iron camera, so you can see it. This will be our next few 
live stream projects right there. It's beautiful. Just put that there so we don't lose it. Okay, it is very pretty. Isn't that cute? It's got Dresden's flower patch. Oh, thanks, Helly. <laughs> Oh, Diane, 57, you, some about a video? I missed out on it, you should let, did you link it to us? How can we help you? Mm, yeah, exactly, thanks, Heather. Inquiring minds wanna know. <laughs> so yeah, I cut all the other strips except for these ones, so I'm just gonna cut them up to the three to get them out of the way now that you guys know what I'm up to. And uh, then I'm gonna put the black borders on and then add some more color strips to the outside and get this project finished. And then maybe we can read over a little bit of that pattern. Mm, isn't it beautiful? I can't wait to do it. Ow, oops, sorry, I, I stepped wrong and hurt my knee. Um, hurt my knee. There we go, it's pretty, it's very pretty. We'll put that under here so we don't lose it. All right, so let's move that. Hello, Claire. Well, I hope you enjoy the replay. Hope you're having a good week. Hope you had a great weekend. Okay, so that's those. And there's still a tiny little bit. And I kept all the grays. I thought I could put them as a little pop of something on the, the binding. Whatever. I'll figure it out. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, I had a few more here too, didn't I? Oops. There we go, I did too. And I thought I could just pick whatever color I wanted to be next to the next and it didn't really matter. Yeah, so it's cold outside today. And it's gonna be cold outside for a little while. All right, put those over there because we'll work on those next. And that, we can put that uh, soft to the side and get this out of the way, because I'll need my strips. Uh, where's my pins here? Actually, I'll put them up a little bit more higher here. Mm -mm. Please don't tell me we got visitors. <laughs> I don't want visitors right now. It seems all the time we got visitors. I don't know what she's giving it. Right. One. Two. We're just gonna line those up and cross them. Sophie Lofi, what are you doing? What's going on? <laughs> She's got her head down and her bum's wagging. Did somebody come close to the property? <laughs> She's got something to say. Well, happy to help there, Diane57. Any way that we can, we wanna help each other. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know what set her off. Somebody walking. Mm. Weird. Well, she knows it's video time, so they're like getting close. So they may like, you know, interrupt. <laughs> Not like you didn't. What's that, you gonna show your toy? Come here. Come here. Show your toy. Show your toy. Hi, everybody. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Hey, come say hi. No, you're done? We were playing with that, because it's so cold outside, so. Thanks, Sharon Lowe, for just subscribing to the channel. I don't even know if you're in the chat. Are you in the chat? You don't have to say anything if you don't want to say anything. Just make a little, you know, happy face or something. <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right, well, let's sew these. Actually, yeah, that's a pretty big uh, stretch for one corner to the next for me. So I think I'm going to draw a line. Mm, as much as I think I'm uberlicious, sometimes I'm not so much. So 
let's just do a nice two and a half is one thing when you're working at four and a half that's a whole other story all right I like to do a nice straight line I don't want no weebles and wobbles in this border not if I can prevent them so there's that one let's do the second one here Yeah, I'm very excited. I like working on these projects. I'm very excited to do the uh, very co colorful blue, lots of blues, and the yellow flowers with the green um, uh, applique uh, leaves and stems and stuff like that is very beautiful. I very much like it. Mm -hmm. She is so stinking cute. That's my loafy. I love my loafy, except when she barks for no reason. <laughs> Or which I think is no reason. <laughs> mhm. Mm all right, well, of course, there's a big, huge chunk left over on the other side here, so I'm going to just go a little bit over so I can cut right down there and have me a nice big black square, probably like three inches by three inches when I get it all chopped off. Square it up. <laughs> As I put the snowmans up today to get the little weirdness off the screen so sorry I missed it the last couple of times <laughs> do and then over here do right, take those pins out I take those ones out yep all right now we'll just cut these guys free and measure 60. So here's your choice. When you're doing your, your borders, right? Uh, you're obviously adding your piece into the center. So you could actually have that be the center and work, you know, our, obviously mine's gonna be 60. So it'll be the center line will be uh, on the 30 if it's doubled up and then go all the way over there. So I cut all the extra bits off the other side or I measure from one end to all the way to 60 and you have that piece part down lower on so it's your choice you know what what's is one more attractive than the other does everybody do it a certain way or does it, it just how how it works out mm -hmm. Yeah, and then we have a nice big, uh, you know, like I said, probably three, three and a half by three and a half. A nice big square I can get out of that. Mm -hmm. No biggie to you, Jennifer, just wherever they go. I was thinking about it as I was, I think, because I've been putting a lot together, obviously. And I've been, as I've been building them out, I'm like, well, especially if I wanted to add just a little bit more to, to bulk it up, uh, the quilt. So I'm like, okay, well, if I cut it in, it's always going to end up down in the bottom corner, you know, sort of like one third or, you know, or such and such. Or do you try and make it so it sits right in the center? And some do it just, you know, right sides together so it's a straight line and then they pin it and they make sure it's in the center i mean wh what's more visually appealing so um it's he here here or there just thought i'd ask if anybody had more of a you know a, an idea of you know if there was a is there a law <laughs> is there a rule <laughs> i haven't come across yet Mm. 
to. See, like I said, you can put it on, fold it in half, and you've got it so it's half your seam is on one side and half the seam is on the other. And then you put that on the zero over here. Make sure it's nice and flat, laying it on the line. We're not singing a song, We're just gonna lay it on the line and then cut it where you need it to be. Of course, this is doubled up, right? So I would cut it at 30, which would give me 60. I wanna make sure it's right there. Everything's nice and even. And like I said, it would be in the middle. There's a lot of huge hockey people around here. I do lots of stuff for jerseys. And of course, that'll just go into the extra pile. So that's one. Got the second one here. Uh, uh, I think it'll be the first Thursday of February, is it? Or is it second Thursday of February? For Munchkin's block of the month. Mm -hmm. I'm excited. I'm very excited to see the next one. Um, and, and see, having it all kind of come together. Those are big blocks, it's been fun. It's been fun putting it together. And with him too, it's, it's nice we have a, you know, we're doing something together and it's not yelling at each other. <laughs> Though we don't really yell at each other, <laughs> just saying. <laughs> all right, here's this. And I have my half, which is here already. And then I wanna add my half of this, where it just folded, and then I'm gonna pin from one side, from the middle to the outside. <coughs> Sorry. Hello, Kathy and Connie Jo and Kat. <laughs> there we go. It's a very snowy day here. We're supposed to get snow for the next 24 hours. So yippee, yoo hoo, yeah, yeah. Um, but it is what it is. That's what happens when you live in Canada. But it seems like the lower part of uh, Ontario and down in Buffalo and Ohio and Pennsylvania, something's gonna get much more than what we have, so or what we're supposed, we were supposed to get. We were out for quite a bit and it kind of got a little bit better. It seems like it's just gonna miss us mostly, uh, the big chunk of chunk of what was supposed to come. Just cold and wet here, Billy? <laughs> we can't order pizza, nobody delivers out here. I mean, we are a village. We have like, you know, a thousand, I don't know, 2,000, 4,000, 5,000, I don't know how many thousand, but you know, it's not too many, it's not, probably not 10. Um, and there's no pizza place that delivers out here. We're about 20 minutes, 25 minutes from the closest place to get something half decent. And if you want really some good pizza, then you're about 40 minutes away, 45 minutes away. All right, so I'm gonna do the pinning of the other side as well and get them both sewn on. Love these colors. When I was laying it out, I'm like, I was trying to, how to get the flow right and color wise. And I'm like, no matter what, it's just gonna do what it's gonna do. So I just kind of had some fun and I, I think it, it turned out pretty good. Yeah, you guys got some nasty wind um, weather coming your way as well. And you've had some really bad when you've had the highest, uh, uh, insurance claims of all the year for windstorms in BC. For wind damage and stuff. It is beautiful, isn't it, Marcy? I have, Deborah. I was very busy after on the, on the Sunday because Pop had stuff to do. We had to do his video. Uh, for um, Monday and so I kept myself out of trouble and out of his way and just kind of puttered away at this and then 
Tuesday, I pretty much put the whole top together because I had all the blocks done by Monday after, like before I went to bed. Um, I had all the blocks done. And then Tuesday, I kind of laid it out and hummed and hawed and flipped and flopped and so on and so forth. And, and they made a decision and started sewing them together. <coughs> and then I realized, oh, the top's done. <laughs> I got a little excited. <laughs> So I just kept going. It was looking so pretty. <laughs> Hello, Lynette Craig. She's our winner. There's her quilt in the corner. Not done yet, of course. I still have yet to add all this stuff. We just got her notice, I think yesterday, or I saw it yesterday. So I was very excited. <laughs> Are you happy you won it, Lynette? I hope you're happy you won it. It was beautiful. Uh, we don't get much snow there. Been thinking of investing in treadle machine. Oh, that would be kind of fun. Ding -a -ling -a -ling -a -ling. You'd sing a little song. <laughs> awesome, awesome. Uh, six inches of snow here. Yee. <laughs> yeah, I'd be very surprised if anybody on uh, Patreon said no, they didn't want the quilt that they just won. <laughs> but it, maybe they don't like the color, so I, they, if they pass it up, we draw another name. So, <laughs> you like the black versus the white? It's really vibrant. It really stands out. I'd almost be afraid of the white for some reason. It's almost like too. You'd have to do. That's the wall hanging. You know, that's the family wall hanging. Maybe you put your family initial in the center of it or something like that. It goes up the wall. The black with the ombre seems, you know, it could take a little loving. It'd be okay. Oh, apparently we're starting off with an attitude. Mm -hmm. Pops more with black. <laughs> oh, he's in the camera today. We didn't see him. We didn't see him earlier. Mm. Mm, I might need my old lady's fix. <laughs> Probably a nice clean thread would help. There we go. Much better. Sometimes we are so resistant to the tools that aid us. <laughs> Found a new way to spend your money. Went to the fabric sale and yard sales. <laughs> I'm sure there's lots. <laughs> Most of them try to clean out the stock from last year to make new for make, make room for new stuff. But I don't always see the need to make new fabric lines every year when there seems to be a lot of waste in the fabric industry itself. So, but you know, that's just, that's what, hey, look at me putting a pattern, uh, uh, kit together. So, you know. Um, how often do you oil your machine? Actually, I oiled it just before the shoot. I put a new needle in, changed my foot out. Uh, I actually, there's actually a sensor nagging button on my machine, the Janome 15,000, that reminds me after so much uh, uh, stitch time or whatever that it says, okay, take your the bottom case out wipe it with a soft cloth, clean all the little thready bits out, so on and so forth, so, and give it a, yeah, so. When it tells me to, because it's very naggy, but I, just because we, I knew I did a lot, a lot with the, the flour and the, I thought just give it a good clean out and an oil and put a nudie needle in and change the foot, because I had the walking foot on for that one, and that was, that's what I, yeah, I try, I'm, I, I try to all the time, really. It sounds so much better and it behaves so much better when you look after it. I had a new sewing student here yesterday, a very lovely young man. 
Uh, he's actually, he lives in South Africa and he's, he's, he wanted to make a white uh, dress for his wife. So we talked over a pattern, how to, what the wrong and right sides of pattern and fabric and seam allowance and how to thread his machine. And we talked about thread and everything. And so, yeah, he went, he went out, gonna make something and, or cut it out and then come back and then we're gonna put it together. I'm very excited, very excited for him. He's got some really good designs. Do, 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 do. All right, so that's one side. Ooh, uh, that's why we always check, go back over. And then we'll flip it and do the other side. Okay, you can, guys can see more of this beautiful color. The year of color. 2019. <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh yeah, hobbies can be expensive. That's why you gotta, uh, you know, keep it on the down low on a few things only, right? So, oh, you love the weekend project? It's beautiful. I'll show it up to this small camera again, or the iron camera when you can see a lot of the stitches. Uh, I had a lot of fun with it. And it's, it's, oh, it's not close to even being done, but that's about an hour. <laughs> Those lines from there to there was about an hour. <laughs> And I just made, I took my six inch ruler and I half the fabric and I made like a little mark at one end of the fabric and a little mark at the other end of the fabric. And then I just, as I did like, I guess, um, base lines, though it was just the stitch of the fab, uh, stitch of the machine. And went from that space to that space, went six inches over, did the same six inches over and then just worked in between those six inches chunks and get, I get myself down and they it seemed really straight. I, I, I did really, I did really well. I was trying to keep myself straight. I didn't want any wonkies. Um, you know, that's a whole other project, but you know, when I was trying to keep it straight and beautiful, I want to, I want to, I want to make something beautiful for her. So. <laughs> oh, excellent Vicky. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Roast beef, duh. actually, what are we having? Uh, I think we're having chicken breast and some vegetable the munchkin goes down to the store and grabs. <laughs> We've had uh, homemade butternut squash soup that I made with a whole butternut and onion and celery and carrots. And yeah, it was in some seasoning. Um, um, Munchkin and I had it last night for dinner and I had it for lunch today. Pop had it for lunch today. There's still some more, so it's very delicious. It's very warming. Yeah, so I think, yeah, I think we're, uh, I think the idea was to make homemade chicken fingers tonight, wasn't it? I thought, I thought so. We're lucky there's like a little a little grocery store like half a block a block away down the street so easy especially in really crazy weather like this uh it's nice and convenient to be just down the road do, do, do. all right okay that's the two sides on here i'll hold it up so we can get a better look at it oops i'll drop my pencil but that's okay there that's looking purties Very nice. Just enough. Just enough of a border there. Very, all right, so let's measure. Hello, Anne. Anne Hayward, how are you? Glad you're here. Do, do, do. <laughs> is it one of your favorites, Ellie? It is very, it's lots of color. It's beautiful. I thought that a good way to start off uh, the year with the big pop. 
kabang shabang wang. All right, so that is 34, which makes that 68. So that's 68 inches. Those are going to be need to be cut. Let's just double check for the center and the other side. Okay. Having the stitch line of the fabric, not where the edge of the fabric, but where the stitches is, because that's what counts on my zero line. And having that line up. Okay, that's pretty darn close. Say only a quarter difference or an eighth difference on that one. Same. There we go. Okay, all right. So 68. Okay, all right. So that's this one here and this one here. We're going to do the same. Kind of hard to tell the right or the wrong side on this one. Do we'll do the pin and the little trace from corner to corner. I'll grab my pencil I dropped on the floor. Whatever's left over from that one, hopefully we'll make it onto here or I'll have to cut another piece. Cause they probably planned it that I cut it so it was the piece part was not in the center. And I don't want to piece all those. No, that's not gonna make me happy. I'll just cut a new four and a half if I need to. There's plenty of black, I'm not worried about it. I can I'll do that right now. Yeah, I'm not hurting for black, that's for sure. Mm. <laughs> I see the project. <laughs> I can see it now. <laughs> Two, three, four and a half. Okay, here we go. There. First, let's get the little wrinkle out of it. All right. Now, same with this one. And then we'll cut them at 68. Yes, I've got a, a real tree uh, jacket, so I know exactly camo-ish. <laughs> Very camos. <laughs> Blue jean quilt. Oh, that must be nice. Are you doing that with the reverse so you're having the raw edges on the outside? What do they call that? Um, is it a, oh no, it's not, is it a rag quilt? No, it's not a rag quilt. It seems like such a weird name to call a quilt. Or is it? Mm -hmm. using the wrong word for some reason. It sounds like such, you know, such a negative word towards a quilt, so. <laughs> but they, hey, whatever, it's all good. That's why I was like questioning it in my mind. I'm like, is that really the right word for it? Mm -hmm. All right, sir. <laughs> uh, that's interesting. <laughs> so 
Sounds like a lot of work, Pam. <laughs> but you can do it. I know you can. It was down there in the bucket, the bucket, a tisket, a tucket. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, Kelly. Just add a little bit of sashing. Make it pop out like a attic window or something. <laughs> yeah, because if I did the centers on one side, I wanted to do the centers on the other side. It just seems to make sense. Let's not like, you know, throw a spanner in the works, make it all crazy like. All right, it was 68, was it not? All right, so let's flip that there. Just do one at a time. Uh, there was a few people who were wondering why I was cutting only one at a time la uh, the first time when I was cutting all the fabric. Well, I'm not a perfectionist and I make mistakes. So I didn't, if I was only making a mistake, it was only a mistake on one, which was the pink one. And no other mistakes were made, thank goodness. Uh, so that's why I did, it, yeah, it took a little longer, but oh well, that's what I was doing. All right, 68, yes, indeed. Oh, do you? It's pretty. Where is it? I was showing it off to a guildmate yesterday. Did she take it? <laughs> Wait a minute here. <laughs> I'm coming for you, Mary. <laughs> Actually, I, th I, th I thought it was kind of cute because she was coming over to talk to me about a guild project. I'll, I'll probably show it to you and um, to get quilted up because I donate the batting and the uh, the quilting, of course, right? And uh, But she had the backing. She was showing it off to me. <laughs> so so um, anyways, so and I said to her, because I pointed out to the magazine and I said, I just noticed as you were on your way over here that it's your sister's quilt on the long arm in the magazine, in the picture in the magazine. <laughs> and she goes, really? I go, yeah, check it out. So, I said, tell your sister her quilt's famous. <laughs> it's actually her twin sister. And I think it's cute that they both quilt. Mm. All right, now to find the half and the halves again. So that would be here. Do do. Let's just work it one at a time. Well, we're pretty quick learners and it's not super, super hard. It's, uh, yeah, it can be challenging. Uh, and, and especially when you challenge yourself, right? Because that's the all part of growing and the growth of your hobbies, getting from a novice to a professional. I still hem pants. I, hem, I, I actually did a pick up and drop off at the little nursing home in town here. And uh, she says, oh, I don't go outside. I'm like, okay, well then I'll come to you. I'll come after crossing guard. So. <laughs> and then I said, okay, I'll drop them off in, in, in two days. Are you okay with that? She goes, yeah, sure, no problem. Come around this door. Go, All right. <laughs> Dropped off after crossing guard yesterday. She was very thankful. I don't mind. <laughs> I'm, I don't know. And, you know, Pop actually, since he started long arming, was like, I don't know how you do it. I don't know how you, you, you sew, you cut, you, and you're doing it all while talking. And I said, but I can't chew gum and talk at the same time. It's very complicated. <laughs> I don't know. It's just whose I am. All right, so that's a one side pinned. Oh, I can't wait to see it all with the black border around all that beautiful color. All right, now let's get the other one going here. 
do, do. I didn't realize this tray was in your view. I'm sorry. Oh, I'll push that way out. Now, how rude was that? I'm sorry about that. I just realized that. Mm -hmm. All right, find the half. There you are, you find the half. There we go. We already got the half here. <laughs> uh, what's in regards to that? Oh, yeah, yeah. That hasn't stopped since about, what, 8.30 I peaked out. The Weather Network said it was going to start about 9. It's, it was there starting at 8.30. Um, and then it's been going ever since. So the vehicles have, a, a, you know, it's starting to layer up on it. It's more than just a dusting now. I and mean, it's supposed to go, and we're supposed to have really, really heavy drifting snow uh, this evening. So, which sometimes the way the wind goes, we end up with it halfway up our door. <laughs> so that was fun one morning, going to let Sophie out, and the snow was like hip high. But it was just because it would have blown in that corner. <laughs> well, I tried to tuck it all away, but I, I, I guess I'd forgotten that. Hey, at least the microphones are on and the batteries are full. <laughs> you can't be perfect all the time. <laughs> or any of the time, at least for not me anyways. <laughs> okay, now that's the two borders pinned on the last two and then we get to see what this is going to look like next to that there's a little pop of extra color all the way around to do oh, uh, very exciting and of course now that i see how much black was actually left over i probably could have easily done a six to an eight inch border really like look how much is left over and you could have saved uh, the rest of the these scraps and whatever could be been left over and what's over here and make yourself a scrappy binding to go all the way around with the grays and the and the blacks and stuff like that go variation as it goes around black and then it goes into the gray and then black and into the gray or something so is that pizza what <laughs> I wish <laughs> so yeah you could even do a huge a nice big big border all the way around five, uh, like a you know five six eight Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. I can always, it'll just go in the scrap, that's for sure. Well, scrap, but the black bin. So, mm -hmm. totally. All right, now let's get her done. Dun, 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 dun. Let's get her done. I shifted my machine over, so I had a little bit more space over here. I realized as it was, because I had um, this young man's machine here yesterday, so I had to clean up my table. Can you believe that? I had to actually clean up my table. <laughs> and move things around. <laughs> so we had space to work and lay out a pattern and stuff, so. But lovely, lovely young man. Apparently it was his, that's what he wanted for Christmas was sewing lessons or someone to teach him a few of the basics. And they, the fabric land in Orangeville, love those peoples. They rec highly recommended me and there, there we were, two peas in a pod, hanging out for a couple hours yesterday. <laughs> And he was missing his dog, so it was a good thing Sophie was a, is a very lovey dog, because he was, uh, oh, he goes, thank you, I really needed that. <laughs> I like free, free loving from Sophie anytime. <laughs> Oh yeah, no, no, no finger cutting here. 
And that, I, I stressed that with him too, because he had a lot of ideas and stuff that he likes with straight lines. And I said, you might be want to invest in a rotary cutter and a ruler, but when the rules of the ruler are, or the rules of the rotary cutter and the ruler, the, ru the fingers are way over here, not near the cutter. So, because I said it might be a little bit easier to get through some of those fabrics that you wanted to work on with a nice straight cut instead of trying to chop at it with scissors, so. And I said, please don't use your, your fabric scissors for cutting out patterns. Please grab another pair of scissors. <laughs> Oops, hold on, turning this around here. There we go, make sure I pin it in the right way. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't mind poking a finger every now and again, which I do, and it's, even with those long arm pins, those are deadly, those are corsage pins. So they, they get you a good poke, that's for sure. I'm like, I don't mind a, I'd rather have that than slay something digit off. That's why I, I never cut at night. No, if I'm anywhere close to being tired or sleepy or distracted, mm, no. And always try to with, the, especially if we're starting a big project, we got lots of cutting, cutting strips like we did here, and then, uh, and so on and so forth. A new blade, nice, fresh, clean blade. Yeah, exactly. You know when a corsage pin gets you, that's for sure. <laughs> uh, where they said those are the ones you give away to people who didn't realize there were mistakes. I lost. Oh, what are you talking about? Oh, quilts or something? The Yeah, no rotary cutter cuts, no tanks. I've been extremely careful. I'm very accident prone, so. <laughs> Uh, Connie Joe, today is my Aunt Millie and Uncle Jim's 67th wedding anniversary. Woohoo! Wow. Well, thank you, Aunt Millie, for showing the way. And congratulations to them. 67 years. Holy moly. That's a true kind of love, let me tell you. That's a true kind of love. For good, for bad, for rich, for poor. It's not just words. They're supposed to be meant and heartfelt. Happy and a bit to be, exactly. Mm -hmm. I use my old ones, Kelly, for uh, paper piecing. You know, so I can, you know, cut around or like squaring up the paper piecing after it's all done and you have your, your, your chunk to deal with. Um, da, da, da. All right. Here, now, let's move these guys off to the side here. So I can do some ta da -zing. Now this is what it's supposed to be. In the end, hold on, there we go. It says 64 by 64, but you know, clearly I added four inches somehow magically and I got it 68 by 68, so <laughs> whatever. <laughs> they didn't seem to be need to get squared up after I was done with them. They were pretty darn good, so uh, I didn't see the need to shorten them in any way. That's pretties. Oh, look at that, it's so pretty. Mm. Barbie Colorful. Do, 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 colorful. Okay, so now we know we need 68 in a strip. 
And if I only do two sides, that's okay. It's a little twist on it. I can pick two sides that, you know, say there's, I got to strip this dark colors or light colors. I can lighten up this side a little bit. Doesn't matter. It's very pretties. Very pretties. I have to say, that's probably one of my favorites right there. I love those colors together. And same with, those are, actually I was kind of surprised by the, um, the yellow, the yellow green. I really like that one too. That was also a favorite. Yeah, pretty colors. And it's a good way to kind of put colors together you didn't think would go together. And same with this, like the corally and the minty green, like those are just so pretty. The teal and the peach. Yeah, even, even blues and purples. Blues and purples look really nice together, so. I have, what does I have? Uh, Olaf, 45. Yep. I've had that for like a decade. <laughs> I hope so, Fiona. <laughs> I hope so. All right, so let's put this here and we'll sew some bits together to finish off this, because it could be up here, and then a bunch of color, and just enough, just to kind of pop it up a little bit. I got lots to, to play with here, so. If we have enough to build around all four sides, then awesome. Awesome is awesome. All right, so let's sew. I'm just gonna try, because I have a bunch of blacks and obviously the colors, so if I sew, uh, a black and a color and a black and a color and a black and a color together, then I can just piece them to make my chain and pick colors that I want together. So that's kind of what I'm going to do. I'm just going to do a bunch of chain piece in here to get to uh, pick a color and pick, pick the black. So, and I did keep the grays out. I thought I could save it for the border if I wanted to add something a little funky around that. Do top and bottom. Yeah, it kind of bulks it out this way, right? So it fits a bit, a bed, bit, a bed a bit better. And then I could still even put another strip of three inch black on top to seal it in. You know what I mean? You know what I mean. <laughs> All right, so let's so, 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 so. My tea's almost empty and it was cold. Mm, that's sad. Who's gonna put the kettle on and make me a fresh cuppa? Hmm? I waitin'. I say please. <laughs> See, happy you're here too. It's beautiful, isn't it? It's lovely. It's absolutely lovely. <laughs> what you laughing about, Pop? <laughs> yeah, nobody's moving. Nobody's putting the cup on for me. <laughs> Sorry, right, I still love you. <laughs> it's okay. I could even save whatever's left of the uh, these this strip that I'm making. Like if it ends up being, I want to use it all. I can save it for the binding. Make a really awesome, funky binding. Pajama party. I love pajama parties. That's usually Saturday and Sunday <laughs> around here. Pajama party. <laughs> Well, thanks, Marcy. <laughs> it's just over there. <laughs> now he's sleeping. Uh, he was up earlier uh, and then munched the bacon that was left over and disappeared. So I think he saw the weather outside and it was very frightful. So he went downstairs to the cave with the cat. 
Because he was a nut job in the night. My goodness, running here, there, everywhere. You'd think for like 11 pound cat, he sounds like a herd of elephants running around. You can see why they call them thunder paws. And the whole sideways, you can tell he's going sideways at some point, you know. <laughs> Such a crazy cat. Mm, yes, I did. actually I only started to get my hair cut, it was a year and a half ago. And I just chopped it. I was getting sick and tired of trying to deal with weird hair and it was growing in grayish, more gray and white than Auburn I had. And I just thought, okay, forget it. I'm just gonna go get a little shortcut. And I'm happy with it. I like it a whole lot better. So. I know it took uh, some very much getting used to for Pop. Mm. Do, do. Mm, working on a Violet Crafts elephant quilt. Need a break from the rain. Oh yeah? Is, uh, is that the where the, the, the elephant looks like it's fractured? Or it's all fractured but pixelated sort of thing? Seen those popping up on Facebook. Jean True Love was funny with her sons the other day when they were doing the video. <laughs> they were showing their block of the month for four, three, and four. <laughs> Exactly. More so time. <laughs> yeah, there's a, what was the other one? There was one that was a wolf head and one lady did it in two variations. One was like browns and tans and the other one was like grays and blacks. And it was like, wow, both of them were extremely stunning. I'm like, and to do them at the same time, like that's brave. Mm -hmm. All right. and other colors in here. Mm. I haven't done one. Actually, I've got a couple of books. There's one that's got a peacock, and it's very similar, I think, quite a sort of variation to that. So uh, it might have to be, you know, uh, a live stream couple of weeks uh, project because they are kind of complicated to put together. And this is a, a fair size project. I think it was a 24-inch pillow. So... I'd like to, I def definitely would like to do that and show everybody how, how I do it or how to do it sort of thing. Mm, grab some more pinky peaches here. Mm. Yes, it's looking like a winter wonderland out amongst the snowy covered ground. <laughs> yeah, she, she's she's a good person. You can tell. I love her little collection that she's got all laid out behind her with all the bolts along the wall. I'm like, oh, I wish. <laughs> and she has fun in what she's doing, and she's very creative. So, what harm is there? Oh yeah, you would like to? I have to, maybe I can find the books because I did show them off because I did a little shopping with my girlfriend, Suzanne, and we I picked it up then and that was when I picked up the rainbow kit and that's kind of what inspired me to get it because I thought, well, I could use that fabric for it. 
So, you know, it makes it match. But then she made a whole big quilt out of hers, and then I was like, well, maybe I should make a big old quilt out of mine and <laughs> and then use that the scraps left over to build the peacock. And you know, it was a whole dilemma in my brain. It was like hours of conversation. <laughs> what to do, what to do. So what else is it everybody else having for dinner tonight? What's on the menu? Oh, there's pretty color. It's, uh, you do get used to it. I like how the flower turned out for the murder mystery quilt. Um, I, I apparently had tried to make it in white first and then I was like, okay, this, why is this, <laughs> this is not working right for me? <laughs> so I had to pick it all out and reuse the fabric. Thank goodness, it's, that's easy enough to do with paper piecing. So you could reuse the fabric. All right, I only got two more of the blacks left and then we'll see how far those colors get me. And the rest can be used for something else. All right, it seems to be a lot of pinks in here. So let me grab another, ooh, let's do a green. Oh, my iron's talking to me. It's bubbling away. Bubble, bubble, cool, toil and trouble. And let's do this bright blue. Mm. I hear ya. I go from one job to the next. Hubby made waffles. If we had enough flour in the house, <laughs> I'm kind of disappointed Munchkin left like no flour in the bag of flour. Uh, I would have made waffles or pancakes for Pop and I this morning, but we just had bacon, bacon and eggs. Mm. Oh, isn't black pudding also blood pudding where it's made from the blood of the pig or it has the blood of the pig is in the, so it's like a sausage. So I think that's it. I may be wrong. Working on a Judy Niemeyer's paper piecing. Love the finished product, but do not appreciate the waste. Oh, I know. And that's what it is with paper piecing. You got to be, you have to have that extra bits of fabric and you have to be generous. When it says you need six inches, but you're only covering a square like this, you know, it's better to have it than to try to do it all over again. You know, don't be stingy with your fabric. I said that once before <laughs> when it comes to paper piecing. Okay, here's my little color patch. Let's move all these over here and see how far I can get to do. All right, oh, and I still had some more over there. Okay, and I got a strip. So what was I looking for? I was looking for 68, wasn't I? Okay. I don't have to have that as a length there. I can turn that off as there. And then here, let's do one of them's and one of them's and one of them's. Okay, so that was a red, a minty green, and a pink I just added. Now I'm gonna get a darker purple and maybe a blue, because we don't have that in there yet. And then what else we got? We need like a peach or t uh, orangey, you know, whatever, them sort of colors, corally. There we go, that's parties. We need 68, okay, that's almost the whole board here. And of course with seam allowance, maybe have to add another one on the end. But let's, uh, let's see how far this takes us. Oh, we need a yellow. We need a yellow. Mm -hmm. How far this takes us. That's a pretty color. Super duper color. Well, let's do one more for good luck. Because we like to be lucky. All right. Mm -hmm. Now let's go from one end to the other and sew these guys together. Let's see how far my strip is. And I'll trim whatever needs to be off there. Hello. Okay. 
Uh oh. Have you been some how Oh, oh my goodness, that's horrible, Wanda. Well, I hope he comes home soon. I know, sometimes there's no point in cooking for one, it feels like, right? But you have to eat too. And if you know how to and you know how to cook. He would want you to make yourself a nice meal, I'm sure. Yes, exactly, Mary. I hope it's her husband comes home soon. can see what this measures at. I know, I feel you. Actually, when the boys go away for their boys weekend, but they didn't go last year, but the year before, all I did is I went over, I was, I was horrible. I went over and got those little uh, um, toss in the oven or toss in the microwave <laughs> little dinners. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, there was lunch, dinner, lunch, dinner, lunch. <laughs> because I knew that's how long we were going to be gone. <laughs> so I didn't have to think about it because I was working on quilting projects. I was working on charity stuff so I could just toss it in and I was doing all the ones for the Ronald McDonald house. I had 33 quilts to do up and I had six done by the time they got back that weekend. So uh, I just thought, okay, I could focus. Something easy, just toss in the oven when it beeps, it's done. And oops, don't do that together. That was putting two colors. Um, and then it was just gobble and go. <laughs> I was on a mission, so. But, you know, sometimes when they're not here, I, I still make something. Maybe just a fried egg, but. I actually choose to just warm up some soup. <laughs> I'm a soup person. All right, now let's see what this strip is. Longer than I need. Okay, that's all right. What was I looking for? 68, right? Oh, I'll actually do it this way. Hmm. Stretch it out. Okay, there, and there. So if I wanted 68, I need to take it off here, which is okay. Started one for the next side. And then trim that black one down there just a little bit. All right, just need to break this apart here. Just a little bit too long. Mm. All right, so that's started for the next set. That's going to go there to 68. That's going to put her all across. Do, 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 do. There. Stay there, don't you move. Yeah, only need like a half an inch off that one. Very nice. All right, so that's one. Do, do, do. Now, let's stick it on. I'll make another one. Where is a, is my blue? Oh. There it is. Grab another strip like that. Put that there. Lay some colors out. OK. 
Okay, let's see, we'll do a blue. This beautiful green. Lovely orange. Let's see here, get a darker pink. Yellow, is that too close to that? If we moved it down the line a bit. Let's see what else we got in here. Purple. There we go. Mm, right down there. <laughs> if you could see Sophie right now, she's cuddled up with the little toy underneath her head and she's sleeping, just snoring away. She's so cute. Nothing like puppy love. Mm hmm There. There. Uh, let's see, that's probably it. It looks like we got lots for the border. So let's put that one together. And then continue here and here. Oh, bye, Lynette. See you later. Oh yeah, it's gonna snow for like next 24 hours. We're gonna get lots of snow. Yes, we are. Yeah, I guess so. It's certainly piling up, isn't it, Pam? I'm not looking forward to Monday morning crossing guard at minus 34 with the wind chill. No, no, I'm not. <laughs> not at all. <laughs> But that's okay. I think to myself, okay, I could just come home, have a nice hot cup of tea. <laughs> It'll all be good. Mm. I think it's a nice little pop of color. And we'll put it on two sides and then we'll decide what we want to do. We'll assess the situation <laughs> and see where we want to go. Mm -hmm. Oh, not that one. It's over here, silly. Uh, I had a cock. Oh, sorry. We love our dogs, don't we? I wear two of those. I made. I wear the neck uh, muff that I, I made. The one with the um, like good leopard print on the inside and orange on the outside, nice and bright, because I wanted to be seen, of course. And I wear another scarf, and then I got a scarf for Christmas as a gift, and I've been wearing that underneath too. So I've been wearing three scarves. <laughs> it's keeping me warm. <laughs> You got it stay tucked in, that's for sure. Oh, let's do this one first. You got to stay tucked in. There was one kid who got on the bus yesterday from, he was getting off from high school and was hopping on another bus at, at, my, at my school, at my, where I cross guard at anyways. He was wearing a t-shirt. I'm looking at the bus driver, my eyes are wide looking at the kid getting on the bus. I'm like, are you kidding me? Is he seriously wearing a t-shirt? <laughs> like, what is this world come to? Okay, I want to put this over here. And we'll see about those two. Okay. Do -de do -de do -de do do mm -hmm. Oh, that's why the kettle's getting filled. <laughs> I I just tease it. <laughs> Thank you, honey. 
I meant to make a new one, but it was already like halfway through that one. So I was like, what's the point of, you know, I don't want to waste a tea, so. I'm very frugal. <laughs> there we go, aren't those pretty? Those are pretty strips. Sorry? Oh. I see, uh, yeah. <laughs> I see that now. <laughs> So pretty. I think black, black, white, and gray with any sort of very vibrant color, and especially that th these ombre with the black looks really spiffy. Very, very spiffy. Okay, so that's one singular sensation. And I'm just trying to spread it so it's to the dark. These little chunks of color here. Now these were three inches this way and two and a half that way. Because it was what I could get the maximum out of that little strip that was left over from our cuts. Right. Okay, all right, now, I think the one with the, this one was fine. This one needed the trim. Yes, there we go. Put them at 68. All right, two. Oh, that may be just bang on. Oh, nope. Oh, maybe, hold on. Holy, it's not luck of the Irish there. I was only Irish. Um, all right, pick up, pick a side. Pick a side, pick a side, any side. Because it's square. All right, let's see what we got going on up here. What looks pretty? What looks pretty where? I think we need to press that border too. So we put that there. That here. Yeah, I kind of like that. That looks nice. All right, well, let's press the border. Let's get these guys out of the way. To do, 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 pop them in here. Same with those. Get this all tucked. <laughs> Thanks, Sharon. <laughs> pop those in there. Get that over there. This up here and press these borders before we sew anything on. Threads galore. That'd be a nice, that'd be a cool name for a quilt shop. Threads galore or a sewing shop or something like that. I said it here, I don't know if it's out there. <laughs> Very cute. We just have Sophie and Clive. That's all we have. That's good. That's good for us. Mm -hmm. Love the that like teal and light purple together, or like um, bubblegum grape purple sort of thing. That's really cool colors together. There we go. I think we did that all around there, did we? I think so. I think we've been all the way around. Nope, no, we didn't do this side. We got fluffs everywhere. <laughs> it really needs a lint brush. <laughs> I don't know what caused so much fluff on everything. Mm 
There we go. And we get to add our little extra border on. So pretty. All right, now what side do I want to do? What side do I want to do? I like this one. Let's pop a little bit of that bluey green color over here. And it still picks up a bit of the orange. Let's do it this way. No, let's do those. Let's try this one. There we go. I think I got that one better. I like it. This one a better. Mm -hmm. All right, let's lay this up there. Get some pins on the go. I think the kettle pot, I'm gonna go make my tea real quick. Let's make cup out. Hard parts waiting for the kettle. Oh, <laughs> I was still talking. <laughs> Tea is made. I will wait to cool a little bit. Make sure I got the E going on here, space-wise. <laughs> yes, they are furries. But there are, that's why we call them our fur babies. They are unconditional love. At least she's napping on her bed, I made her. <laughs> she does love it. I tucked it in the bathroom one day just so I could get the floor tidied up and do a really good vacuum and stuff like that. And it turned around as hard as she was laying on it in the bathroom. <laughs> like, okay, there's one, there's one way. <laughs> All right, let's pin, this one's pinned on. Uh, I'll wait to pin the next one. And, uh, and then we'll go from there. <laughs> How would you decide on the quilting set? Oh, that's very good, Kathy. I, I was thinking of that. What color do I pick? that it's not going to show up too much on one color and you know not enough another like I don't want to choose black but I did think more of a um, like a smoky gray keep it that sort of neutral and then depending on the backing I choose so <sighs> oh. That's a good question. I, I did think of a smoky gray, but maybe a linen color. It would show up on all the blacks, that's for sure. I think I'd almost do like a subdued gray, not even like a shiny gray. We had to get Sophie used to riding in a car. 
she she did not like it. She got sick going 20 minutes down the road. <laughs> so, we have to give her a little bit of gravel before we go anywhere like that. Any long trip anyways. be good for the day. I think I'd almost go on the purple side. Anywhere from purple to blue for the backing. I think those two would make some nice colors to go with that. And then it's very, you know, as we hope with most some of the quilts that we make are very gender neutral. It doesn't matter, you know, it's not really geared towards one or the other. Because lots of people love purple. Purple seems to be a favorite of many, many people. Do 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 do. There we go. Here, let's give that a little press, and then we can see what it looks like. And hopefully, it looks all right. Beautiful. Oh, oh, is that a, nope. Thought I left a pin in there. Seem to look okay, I think. Bye, Kelly. See you later. There you go. What do we think of that? A little color on the side there? Or top? Doesn't matter. Yeah, I think I'll do it on the bottom side too and then add a little strip of black to seal it all up. I think that's my plan. It's coming into motion. Hocus pocus. Thank you very much, Nadine. <laughs> it looks lovely. I'm loving how it's coming together. I know I want to use extra the bits and you know, you don't always have to be restricted to the kit. And I've tried to, you know, prove that all along with any of the ones that we decided to conquer, even the first one with the um, north and south. That was very much, okay, well, what can I do with all these extra triangles? And I did that extra board around the outside. Remember that? It actually added a whole other foot to the quilt. So, to me that makes a difference when you're trying to make a, a gift for somebody to get the maximum out of it. That was actually, I think that, that kit right there was probably the, um, no, actually I'd say the Blazing Star of 2017 was probably the most expensive kit. Um, but the, uh, the North and South one was definitely the, in, the, in the running at the top there. And I could do even do, do a piece backing if, you know, I've got some of the black and I've got purples in my own collection that could probably match it or blues or whatever and, and just pick a, a solid. So, and go, and go from there. Yeah, and then I think a little bit like a two and a half or something like that inch also border black to seal that those colors in, I think would look lovely. And that adds a little bit of extra bulk onto one side of the quilt to, you know, cause I don't think all quilts should be uh, square because your bed's not square. It's a big old rectangle, so. Well, the way you would have it lay out would be very rectangle shape. Mm -hmm. 
There we go. Super pretty. Super pretty, super pretty, super pretty. Yeah, there's just so, so many colors that go so well together. Oh, yeah, the orange sherbet color. Yeah, that's kind of, that was more like that color, wasn't it? Or that color-ish. Peachy. Bye, Donna Faye. Mm. Raspberry sherbet. Mmm, yummy. That would be actually my favorite. I like raspberry sherbet. Mm -hmm. Oh, geez, that snow. It's not going to go away, that snow. Why is it always going to snow? We Actually, I think, you know, parts of... Uh, of uh, the United States are going to be giving it away for free soon because they're going to get way more than we do. <laughs> be shipping it to other parts of the country. Wouldn't that be fun if they could do that? You know, all of a sudden there's a, you know, a big snowball fight and, you know, Florida. <laughs> An annual event, the big old snowball fight of Florida. 2050. <laughs> Aw, thank you, Kathy. Gotta, gotta give it your own stamp. It doesn't always have to be what's on the package, so. When you make macaroni and cheese, don't you add a little bit of this or that? I used to add peas and corn and carrots, much to pop and munch and chagrin, but I still added it anyways. And they were like, you ruined the macaroni and cheese. I'm like, no, we don't, I make it better. <laughs> and uh, that was always a battle. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta add your own little flair to it. You do what's right. I managed, managed to use the majority of the, the uh, scraps from these kits into other projects. So. Mm -hmm. do, 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 do. Not a raspberry fan. My niece made her wedding cake with raspberry filling and most of it went home with my sister-in-law and brother. Oh, <laughs> apparently it wasn't everybody's favorite either. <laughs> Be a battle royale where there, Marcy. Would a mac and cheese. <laughs> I stopped doing it because I didn't want to ruin it, but I put it on the side anyways, the vegetables. <laughs> I was just trying to make it all like hamburger helper style, but you know, with <laughs> loaded up with vegetables. Yeah. Who knew the wrath, the wrath of the two would come down upon. <laughs> See, don't mess with the mac and cheese, mom. All right, all okay. That's the two little extra bits there. Here, we'll put them a little closer so you can kind of see them. There we go. And then we're gonna add just a bit of strip of black just to kind of hold it all in. Kind of nice, don't they? Hold on, hold up a little bit better there. Jeez, talk about lame mm. Very pretty, and then this one here. Two. Yeah, and then just a strip of black just to hold it all in. I think so. I think so, just to keep it together. I think so, no matter the weather. <laughs> Something crashes, you heard nothing. Just saying. So that means I'm going to need four two and a half inch strips or three inch strips, whatever I would like to top it up at. Mm -hmm. 
Let's do three. Let's do three inches. So let's get four of those. Un, deux, trois, quatre. And then we will. See, lots for binding still and all the rainbow color. The rainbow collection. The lovers, the dreamers, and me. Oh, it was hot on our, actually, I think it rained on our wedding day too, didn't it, Pop? Well, it was Canada Day of 1995. And Canada Day is July 1st. <laughs> All right, so that's that one. And this will be this one. Do, 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 do. Yeah, it's kept me out of trouble for at least a couple decades. At least, the very minimum. I made Pop his very first quilt, and I kind of knew what I was doing, but I didn't kind of know what I was doing because I came from clothing. I made clothing more uh, than quilting. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we had fun with his first quilt. What did I do with my pencil? I'm losing my stuff, man. I'm losing my stuff. Oh, I probably put it in a bucket. Of course I did. I'll just get a bucket and put it in the bucket. It was so big it wouldn't fit in the wash machine. Yeah, it was done. <laughs> exactly. It was a delicate. <laughs> I didn't want to fight for blanket. <laughs> so I made it really, 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 really big. <laughs> hello, hello. Happy everybody's here. <laughs> Yeah, we had that for a long, even Munchkin ended up having part of it as a quilt blanket for, oh, I'd say three or four years, and then I'm not sure what happened to it. it probably got lost in the fire. We had a house fire when we lived down in Harleysville, Pennsylvania in 2000. Very traumatizing. And we had no renter's insurance and it was a very down and low moment, let me tell you. And you're the only three living in a strange country, foreign country, and it makes it uh, really, really tough. You really get to know what you're made of, that's for sure. All right, those go in the bucket. A tis get a tuck it. All right, now to press and then cut my 68 to seal those in. And then we're rocking and rolling. This quilt top's done. And I like the little extra. I did, I think it's quite pretty and it adds a little bit to it. A little pop of color, a little pizzazz whiz. Mm -hmm. some of those little wrinkles. We can only do that to our face. A little steam, a little wrinkle press. <laughs> Pop up those pores. <laughs> do, do, do. There we go, I'm gonna pin those on. And actually, I'll put this little project back here so you, have, so you can see that with all the little beautiful lines from yesterday's weekend project. There we go. Hopefully that looks okay. You can see that there. Bye, Vicky. Bye, 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 Vicky. Bye, Vicky, enjoy the rest of your day. Yeah, still lots more quilting to be done on that. But it will plug away. That's why I said it was going to take me a little while to get the project done. And I still I have to still add the height calendar and everything. Mm. <laughs> Not usually. Not usually, Fiona. Life is too short. Life is too darn short. 
Gotta give it all. All right, so we were cutting at 68, which means 34 and a half. There we go. Line that one back up. Make sure we're good to go. Yeah, I've actually had a, a few scares. Um, so it makes me appreciate life that much more. I think that's why I'm a little crazy sometimes. Because <laughs> I love life. Mm -hmm. All right, so put that there. And that's the half. Then add my half. There we go. That's nice. Seal that color right in. Give a little extra. I don't want to lose anything in the binding. So I want to I want to keep everything nice and really focused and framed around all those little colored squares. That's what drew me to the project. So it's highlighted a little bit better. You lost everything but the car. It's it's horrible. We lost Pops tuba. I actually know the hard case. The hard case melted to bits and boobs. So thank goodness we still had the soft case for his tuba. Uh, we had a couple other other instruments up there. All um, uh, Munchkin's baby books, his ultrasound photos, all the diary I wrote when I was pregnant with him, and all of that. Yeah, it's all. It was all gone. All gone. A lot of our wedding photos and mementos that people had given us and we saved. There was a, 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 a heirloom chest that we lost as well. It was, yeah, it was horrible. All right, All right. we'll pin the other side too while we're here, because then I can just sew them both down. Okay, so flippin' floppins. Exactly, we made new memories. I think the hardest part about that was Pop and I had to live apart for two months. <laughs> that, was, that was the hardest part, especially after when you suffer such a great loss. Um, we were separated. We were not, not, you know, I mean, because he had to work in Florida and, and we came up to spend time with family while the house was, you know, getting dealt with. So that's all. It was just it was very, very hard time to not be with him. That's for sure. Exactly. Just made more memories. And grateful for everything we have. And appreciate it probably more than some people realize. Because <laughs> you don't know everybody's chapter of their stories. Everybody's got something. All right, last thing to pin on. Very exciting. And this is Project Weave It B with a little extra re. Dunno. <laughs> There we go. All right, now let's sew those two ones down, and then we'll give it a press. <clears throat> Trailer is going up fast. What's going on? I didn't tell anybody anything, honey. Hello, Elizabeth. How are you? I haven't seen you in a while. Keeping out of trouble. Oh. Well, it's nice when you have people. We actually got 
a few of the ones that we were had lost from my sister and pop sister um, of the you know diff different collection of the family stuff. So it was nice to have a few of those. So. Mm -hmm. Line that up, and so on down to Dixie Town. Well, good. I'm glad. I'm glad you're fine. Glad all is well. Actually, I have the sewing student that was here uh, yesterday for the morning. I have your your guys' world quilt and it's hanging up in between the shop and the, the kitchen area, right? And it was so lovely to be able to go over and point to because he says, Well, I know you quilts, but what is what is quilting? What is, what do you do with quilting? So I went over and I pointed to what was paper piecing, what was thread painting, what was just block formation, what was, you know, creative stacked on stacked of uh, you know, applique. Everything. It was such a beautiful work of art to be able to explain what quilting is with your guys' world blocks. Let me tell you, it was fantastic. And he was he was like, wow, he's looking at all your names and like, holy Holy moly, it was, it was thrilled. And because he's from South Africa, he appreciates obviously the distance that we can as, as a channel uh, travel. So, and how, you know, different it has become. He's, he, you know, he's 26 years old. He's got a grasp of, you know, technology and, and so on and so forth. So it was, it was just really neat. It was neat to see his eyes and all your guys' hard work when I was pointing it out to, for him to understand, you know, the, all the different, possibilities when it comes to quilting and I said you can even apply these to your projects when you're making your clothes I said will you find a nice design you go and thread paint it on the back of the jacket or on the lapel of the collar of the jackets or something you you paper piece uh, funky fabrics together and he's, his eyes were just lighting up and I think I just gave him like 112 ideas before he even left so it was it was pretty fun Exactly. I thought it was fantastic because it's there and I have all the hand stitching still to do around the border but it was nice to have it up and be able to show it and so. what hanging it I hope, I hope you're okay with that because I needed to hang it up <laughs> I just love it that it's a beautiful teaching tool it's a beautiful teach, teaching tool to uh, to show off to show off all your talented work all right now it's the other side mm -hmm. Bob by three hungry kitties. Their tummies are never full when they're kitties. <laughs> they're always hungry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I guess it was just the way I read it. I was like, <laughs> I'm sorry, Diane 57. <laughs> No, it's beautiful piece, love showing it off. My uh, guild mate yesterday, she was seeing it and looking at it and loving all the work. She actually really loved Diane from Upland, California, her flower fabric that she had in there. She goes, oh, I really like that. I go, I have no idea where she got it. I'm like hard pressed now to find out, that's for sure. <laughs> Well, the top anyways. Next comes the finding the backing. 
the proper backing and getting it quilted up and then doing a really neat binding with some extra color. scoot this off to the side here. Okay, put this away so we can get these all pressed up here. Got both of them done? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Do, do, do. So that's an added, do, 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 do. Let's see here, where are we are. 10 inches to this quilt. So we added five at the top and five at the bottom, and that'll help me fit a, a bed better. Bed better? Better bed? Bed, bed, better bed. Anyways, one of those things. Or a couch, or if you choose to use it as a wall hanging, or, you know, give it as a gift. Great family quilt. Could be the cuddle blanket. Cuddle one for the couch, or the camping one. Yeah, I like sealing that color, and that's very nice. I'm glad I did that extra little bit of black. And a nice bigger chunk than the, just the width of what was there. So that little extra half an inch does make a visual difference, right? Okay, hold on to the other side. Okay. Very pretty. Lovely, absolutely lovely. Wowee, wowee, looks beautiful. I think so, hold up the top first. Huh. Just a little extra. Right? And then what I can do is when I put the binding on, I could make it so that the color pieces were on the black sides and left black for the top, you know, so it didn't pull any more color away from the section. I can put the little bit of fold over because be just little tiny little chunks of color and black along the border here. So isn't it lovely? I'm happy with it. Very, very happy with it. That's for sure. Fire party. Hey everybody, let me show the other side. Do, do, do. And it really didn't take too long. Most of the spent time was spent doing the cutting and of course putting the blocks together, but you know, it's, uh, it's very pretty, very lovely. All right, I guess we'll call that a show. Does anybody have any questions? Oh, actually I want to show you things. That's what I want to show you. Don't go anywhere, sit right there. Don't you go nowhere. <laughs> this is the one from the guild, the Erin Village Quilters, and they had a, uh, actually, could I use your help for a second there, honey? This is, ow, geez, that's twice my knee has given out on me. Mm. Getting old for Pete's sakes. Um, here's the red feather quilt. Okay, and it's to make awareness for our native Canadians and their uh, missing and abusive and so on it's for the women. So I'm gonna do lots of fun quilting in that. Isn't that beautiful? And then there's a couple of ones that are right up around the side here on the border. Yeah, I know, for some reason it's popped like twice so far as I've tried to move things, so I'm getting old, I tell you. And then down there, isn't it beautiful? Isn't that lovely? Yeah, so I can't wait to quilt that up. And they all were given the same black um, to work with to make their feathers. So this is all a collaboration of the guild of the guild ladies. Thank you, honey. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, got that. All right. Thank you. All right. Oh. 
think it was just the way I got off. Okay. And then I'll show you, uh, actually, my sister Lisa, her, her, her quilt top came. It's right up here. That goes right back in that bag. Okay. Oh, jeez. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Hello, Sue Ann. We're just about to end here, honey. Sorry. But we're just showing off a little show and tell. This is the one my sister made, my sister Lisa. Oh my gosh, it's huge. <laughs> I took it out, but I only saw half of it. There we go. Isn't that cute and adorable? This will also be a long arm Wednesday. I love what she did. Uh, beautiful, isn't it? Also in the popcorn. This is all popcorn around the outside here. <laughs> I love it. And it's my choice to quilt it. And I think a nice gray backing would look lovely with this. Sorry, chilling your corners together. Isn't it beautiful? She did a beautiful job. That's my eldest sister. She's the oldest, I'm the youngest. There we go. It's a beautiful job. Beautiful job. She's more into clothing. She actually made my wedding dress. So she's more into like design, fashion, that sort of thing. So when she just recently kind of got into quilting a bit. Um, I know she had experience before, but I mean like making a big quilt, that's probably her very first, so. It does, it is, it is a film strip. It's very pretty, very pretty. Um, no, I think that was it, honey. Okay, thanks. <laughs> so was there any questions that I missed? Sorry if I missed them. I know, clever with the popcorn border, right? I know. And then she says, can you try and make the border pop? No pun intended, or pun intended. <laughs> I thought it was funny. <laughs> it's beautiful. Yeah, cute projects, that's for sure. Lots of projects coming up. <laughs> mm -hmm. So it seems like, um, we were gonna do a video for the Quilt of Valor, but I think instead of the video, I'm going to do it as a live stream, and it's gonna be on Thursday this week, if everything works out okay. Uh, give me about a half an hour, an hour-ish, maybe an hour and a half after crossing guard, and uh, just to get make sure I'm all set up and ready to rock and roll, and I'm gonna pretty much sew and I'll take a quick little lunch break and I'll make my tea when I need to make my tea and let Sophie out when she needs to get let out or whatever. And I'm just gonna plug away for the whole day until I have to go back to crossing guard. So hopefully you guys can stick around for that. It'll be nice, have a little few hour, <laughs> yeah, uh, a few hours on, uh, on Thursday, you know, for about, I'd say four, four hours. We could probably hang out together if you're interested. I will be hanging out here. <laughs> I just love my machine, my Janome 15,000, let me tell you. What time? That'll be, uh, let's say, between 10 and 10.30 Eastern, our time. That's morning, early morning. Well, I mean, probably not early morning, but morning, obviously. So, 10, let's say between 10 and 10.30. <laughs> And we'll have Munchkin probably helping run in the chat a bit, but if we miss questions and stuff, you know, I'm, I'm sorry. We'll, we'll try and get to them. Because it probably just, it may just be me, and I'll, I have no way of controlling things besides shutting them off, and <laughs> there'll be no, like, be right back or anything. <laughs>
Well, hopefully you guys can join me. I'm going to put the Quilt of Valor together. I'm going to try to put as much uh, of it together as I can uh, during that time. I'm going to have all the pieces cut out beforehand and maybe have a little section of so you kind of know what it's going to look like and then just so and so, so, so until get it get it done. So um, uh, it is six hours. So it be four in the afternoon your time then, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. Doo -doo -doo. Hopefully we can send out a little notification. But <laughs> yeah, it would be earlier for people on the West Coast for sure. Yeah, that would be 7.30 a.m. In the morning. In the early, early morning. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, well, I'm going to enjoy the rest of my tea. I'm very, very pleased with my project and maybe take a lint brush to it to get all these threads off. And I'm very happy the way it came together. It was, once you kind of got over what strips go where in the balance of the block, it was very easy to put together. Uh, the instructions were a little confusing at first because it only it tells you how to build one block, but it, only in that variation. So when you had to go build the second one, you're like, okay, well, this isn't gonna equal out, but it does if you just kind of think about it a little bit, right? So, uh, I know, I really like the colors, and I, like I said, I love the way it turned out, and I can't wait to quilt it. And thanks, everybody, for popping along on the journey. <laughs> yeah, hopefully a notification will be sent out. <laughs> oh, yeah, he's, to, he's, he's growing up, yeah. <laughs> uh, I have 3 p.m. right now, or 3.05 right now. That's our time right now, but. <laughs> well, thank you, Marcy. <laughs> do, 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 do. All right, have yourself a great rest of the afternoon and a great weekend. And uh, hopefully we don't get too much more snow, but I feel we're in for shoveling nonetheless. So <laughs> thanks you, Diane. Thanks, Diane57. Have a great day, everybody. Big hugs from the Mom Pop Quilt Shop. Thanks for sticking around, having fun with me today.